A two hour trip of terror for a woman that ended at the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel finally ends for good in court. For the suspect, it ends with a guilty plea and likely prison time for a man charged with kidnapping his ex girlfriend. Good evening, everyone. Mother Nature stepped in to bring the 120 mile ride to an end for Philip Timmons and his victim. A ride that will land Timmons in prison for several years. This all happened back in October of 2015 when police say Timmons took his ex at gunpoint from her home in Paulville, Maryland. Her quick thinking, though, at the south end of the bridge tunnel changed the outcome. Tonight on your side, Jason Marks has the latest developments for us. Philip Timmons got here to the toll plaza before he was arrested for abduction. His attorney tells me he's very sorry for what he did back in 2015. You know, love is a strong emotion and sometimes it gets off track. Andrew Sachs says what his client, Philip Timmons, did was wrong, but he wasn't thinking straight at the time. And sometimes very good people have very difficult moments. Days after his arrest in October 2015, Timmons' truck sat in a lot at the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. He drove it here from outside Ocean City, Maryland, after breaking into his girlfriend's home when she wouldn't let him come over. He held her at gunpoint on the road, repeatedly telling her not to do anything stupid. When he got to the CBBT, there was an issue. High winds caused restrictions, and he wasn't able to cross because of his surfboards in the back. Tunnel staff brought the boards to the other side for him, and when he got out to get them back, his ex-girlfriend jumped behind the wheel and started driving off. That caused enough of a commotion to get police involved. And when you have time to reflect and think about it, you realize this is not the way to handle it. Sack says his client just made a mistake. He's not only looking at jail time in Virginia, but also in Maryland when the crime started. By pleading guilty, Timmons now takes responsibility for his actions in 2015. His attorney says Timmons is looking for a fresh start. He's sorry, he's remorseful, he's rehabilitated, he's ready to move on in life. Timmons is looking at three years in prison, but part of his plea deal, he's not able to get more than five years. He will be sentenced in October. That's the latest here in Virginia Beach. Jason Marks, 10 on your side. You can see all of our previous coverage of this story on wavy.com.